Hey guys, it's Larry Greenberg, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Spigen Ultra Hybrid case for the iPhone 6S and the iPhone 6. Uh, there are a bunch of color variations of this case. I have the clear and the mint here. There's also a rose gold, a space color, black. Uh, essentially, all the cases are clear in the back section and then have a colored rim. Now, these sell for $24.99, and inside here, there really isn't anything other than the case itself. Here is the mint one. I have the all clear on my phone, and I'll show you in a second. But essentially, in here is just the case and a little certificate of authenticity. Now, before you use the case, you are going to want to remove the protective film that is on the outside and the inside of the case and that just protects it during shipping and whatnot. You can see on this mint version that it does have these metallic buttons for the power switch, as well as the volume up and down, and essentially here is the case. So let me get all of this out of the way. Like I said, I already have it on my iPhone 6S, and actually I'll pop it off real quick just so you can see. It is a pretty tight fit, which is good. This case has military grade drop protection, um, and you don't find that normally in the form of a clear case, which is pretty neat. The back is like a solid polycarbonate piece, while the sides are made from a stronger TPU. And then of course, as I mentioned, it's completely see-through. So if you wanna show off your brand new phone, a clear case is a good way to do that. Again, they're not usually all that protective, but this one is. So let me pop it back on, and basically what you do is you just start with the top and kind of wedge it in there, and then I usually go to the left corner or the right corner as you're looking at it this way, and then the left corner and just kind of pop it all in. You're gonna to wanna to make sure, obviously, there's nothing on the back of your phone. Make sure it's real clean before you pop it in there because anything that's on here is gonna get trapped in beneath the case and the back of the phone, and that's probably going to annoy you if there's dust or lint or anything like that. Of course, you can take the case off often and clean in between as well. Now, you do get a small amount of lay on the table protection from this. You can see the lip of the case does come up higher than the glass screen. So when you put it down screen side first, it will hit that case, not the phone. And then the case on the back has these little ridges, which if I hold it up close, you can see right there, one on each corner. So even when you place it on the back side down, it's first of all stable, there's no wobbling. And second of all, it won't scratch the back of your case because it's raised up above. So not only do you have lay on the table protection for the front, but you also have lay on the table protection for the back as well, which is pretty neat. Now, as far as all the cutouts for the ports and controls go, there's a cutout there for the mute switch, which is more than accessible. You can totally get to that. The volume buttons and the power button, they give a nice amount of tactile feedback. They're nice and cushy. On the bottom, you've got individual cutouts for the speaker, the lightning port, and the headset jack and mic. I have used my third-party lightning connector uh, chargers with this case, no problem. They fit in just fine. And then, of course, there is a pill-shaped cutout on the back for the camera, the secondary mic, and the flash right there. This case probably will not work with edge-to-edge -edge screen protectors, but I do have one that has a cutout around the rim for cases, and it works just fine. So the Spigen Ultra Hybrid case, again, comes in a bunch of different color variations, each selling for $24.99. You can learn more about this case via the link I'll have in the video description. There'll also be a link down there to more information via my own website, runaroundtech.com. Please do me a favor and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more content. And as always, have a great day.